Hey guys, welcome back. It's that time of week again. Time for a new episode of Gun Talk TV. We're on episode 253. 253. And we're back with a couple of different things to talk about today. Yeah, very exciting. Very exciting. So Master Grade. Master Grade. We have the Master Grade GM Sniper Custom. It is all snapped together. Boy, I gotta say, I really like the colors on this one. Yeah, it's like an olive drab type an of color. An olive drab with this nice gray and white to it. It really looks yeah, cool. The gray almost has a purple tint to it. You just know, a bit. I kind of thought that myself. And Maybe it's about the light reflecting. It could be the light reflecting, but it looks really nice. It looks splendid. Yes. And also, we had some new stuff come in. This one actually came in last week, but it didn't. It wasn't here in time to record last week's episode. This is another one of those Build Fighter weapon sets. This is the 24th Ooh. century, and it comes with a different couple of different looking things. That looks rather cool. Yeah. So those are always fun if you want to get some extra weapons to equip to your mobile suit Gundam kits and have fun. It's Very nice. Really nice. And uh, let's let's okay. Let's before getting to the big one, let's <laughs> mention this. So actually, we got lucky and we got a few of these come in. So last week, we did a review of the Yamato, but didn't have the batteries for those small little LEDs, and also we didn't have this inside of the right. ship. This was for the back thruster engine, right? Right, this is for the engine. So if you want to have the entire lighting kit for that Yamato, you're going to need this to light up the engine. So I was lucky enough to be able to grab one of these. So what I'm going to do in a future episode, I'm going to add this into the Yamato. We'll get some batteries for the Yamato because I think some people really wanted to see that ship when it was all lit up, but yeah. we didn't really just have the time to get the, the batteries and stuff for that. Yeah, so, and then you can put this in too and show them the full package. Right, so this will be good. So now we'll be able to show off that Yamato with the entire thing light up, not just those small ones, but if you were to add this as well. So this is currently right now available on the site but i can't guarantee how long that is going to last because we just seem to get so very very few of these yeah but so grab it while you can grab it while you can if Don't it is available that still opportunity. can't guarantee it will still be and of course the big release that a lot of people have been waiting for is the new real grade Ooh. for the month. This is Johnny Ridden Zaku 2. I really like that red and gold color it's got going on. Right, he's got nice gold spikes on it. And he's got those different leg leg armor parts for his the bottom part, the legs there. So this looks really cool. So we'll get this put together and show it to you guys next week. So yeah, a lot of fun stuff to look forward to and Thanksgiving is coming up soon. It so. is. <laughs> we don't have Thanksgiving Day in Japan, nope. but we have a vacation that just happens to be on the same day right. called, like, what is it, Workers' Thanksgiving Day? Is it Workers' Thanksgiving it's Day? It's like Kanshanohi or something, which means just thankful day. And it's like, oh, that's, that's a coincidence, it's Japan. It's just a coincidence, <laughs> so yeah. But in Japan, I don't think they really do any big sales no. on that day, do they? Not like the traditional, Not like America, it's always the Black Friday, yeah. you know. <gasps> Big sale, I want to buy stuff. Yeah, they're starting to try to introduce that, but it's not really a known thing It's yet. not really taking off. It's like, what was it, Halloween. It's not really, Halloween not really a big thing here, but they've kind of started to introduce it lately, so. Yeah, so. It's interesting. All right, well. Let's have a look, shall we, at this new Master Grade GM Sniper Custom, shall we? All right, so we are back again with another Master Grade, and this one being the GM Sniper Custom. So, boy, as I was kind of mentioning, mentioning earlier, that one thing that you really kind of notice with this kit that stands out right away, of course, is the colors, which are a bit different, I guess you could say, for other Gundam kits. Just really, really nice looking colors, I feel. Now this GM custom is of course based off of earlier, the earlier GM 2.0, which itself is based off of the 2.0 Gundam, Master Grade Gundam RX-78. And if you've never built either of those kits before, this is actually, even though it dates back, what is it, like 10 years I think the original came out, this is still a really great kit to build. 
And it's just, it looks nice when you build any of those 2.0 Gundams. Of course, now they have the 3.0, but also the 2.0 is just still really nice. They've got some really nice articulation, and they've got really nice details in the arms and the legs and parts for the inner frames and whatnot. You have that double-jointed wow. knee. So he's got really a lot of flexibility for the legs, and you have a little bit of flexibility even for, like, just the heel can move a little bit and the toe so you can use that to kind of give you some extra yeah. extra poses we'll take a look at that a little bit later maybe with some sniper rifles but i won't go into a whole lot of about the articulation and whatnot just because it's based off of a kind of old kit and a lot of you out there have probably already built one of these kits based on the 2.0 frame mm. so let's take a look at kind of what is new shall we so we do have a lot of new armor pieces going on with the kits we ha we have some new leg armors here some new chest armor of course and we got like a new backpack on his back some a new thing we'll show you this a bit later too that he could use that to hold on to his bazooka if you want to have it in like storage position some new thrusters on the back one of the cool gimmicks for this kit, of course, is the visor for his head. Now, when you put this on, you can keep it open or you can kind of close it, which is kind of more like for his, uh, uh, like a special head, well, the sniper type of pose, I guess you could say. So that kind of almost is looks like a mono eye when you have it closed. Like a Zaku mono eye. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's what they're going for. Antenna with a joint. So that is really cool now let's take a look shall we at the arm here so his oh, let's see, his left arm there's nothing special on it but on his right arm he's got a little extra something on the side so usually with gundam kits and whatnot they will have the beam saber with the handle right since this is based off of the earlier kits you end up with a lot of spare parts and one of those actually is this beam saber handle which you actually don't need I just put it on there just because because his arm actually has a holder for the beam saber itself built in so that is kind of really cool so it actually mentions in the, the instruction manual for this kit as well that it comes with two beam sabers but the other second beam saber had just or the extra beam effect part just has a X for it, X through it, so you don't actually need that for this kit. But there you have it. Now this kit comes with one of the cool things about this kit is being a sniper, of course, he's meant for battle, he's meant for warfare. And of course, if you are going into battle, what do you need? You need a lot of weapons. So let's take a look at just all of the weapons that come with this kit. And let's start off with the big, the big one, kind of first. And this is the Hyper Bazooka. And I do believe uh, previous releases, oh, was it the ARC-78 or the GM? I don't remember exactly which. They also had the Bazooka, but I think they had slightly different parts attached to it. So that is really cool. That is one of the weapons. Now, I will save his trademark weapon for the end. So let's start off with some of the smaller ones here we have this one here which would be his folding beam handgun and this is if you can kind of see it there this is, is folded up into a position with a little holder so maybe he can kind of hold it onto his arm let's try that out here while I have it attached so you can have this there we go attached using this holder attached to his arm like so and then if you ever wanted to use the gun itself, then you can slide it out and it would just fold open. So you have that handle there and then you can put it into his hand. So he's, this one has those hands with the flexible fingers that you can open and close. So you can put it in his hand. Let's see if I can get it to grip. You know, sometimes these type of hands give you a bit of trouble trying to hold on to weapons and whatnot. But they do suffice all right so that's the folding handgun let's move on next to his next weapon which would be the and they call it the beam spray gun so that's kind of cool a little bit of a smaller weapon here 
Now with these, with the beam spray gun, and actually let me show this one off also as well. I believe these are unique for this kit. This is the, can you guess what this one would be called? If the other one was the <laughs> beam spray gun, and this one's got two barrels on it. My guess would be the double spray gun. You're close. It's called Dang the it. twin beam gun. Dang it. Close enough. So, yep, we got the, the beam gun and the twin beam gun. And this one, actually, I put the little attachment on it. It's going to be maybe impossible to see. Oh, my, that's there's so just tiny. just a, a tiny little attachment. And you, there's holes on the side of these spray guns that you can attach this to. And what this is for is on the side of his leg, there is a little door that you can remove. And if you want, you can take this other tiny tiny piece of plastic here and equip it onto his leg like so and this is going to give you the holder I'm not sure if this is positioned right but we'll just put it on the holder so that he can store his guns on his legs like so you can use this for the twin or the single whichever one you do prefer does the opposite leg have the same door? That is a good question. The opposite side does have the door. So you have a choice which leg you would like to put it on. But the odd thing is, is they don't give you two of the attachments, I don't believe. If I remember right, I only got one, unless I lost one, which I don't think I did. But yeah, you have your choice. You can attach one of them onto the leg like so. Also, while we're looking at the back here, I mentioned that I would talk about this a bit more later. You have this door flap here which kind of opens up and you can use this to attach the Hyper Bazooka. There's a kind of a tiny little notch on the back there. So you can plug in his Hyper Bazooka and then this thing will fold over the top. So that is really cool. You can just put it on his backside like so. All right, so I'm going to actually take this off. Woo! I don't want to take off too much. I feel like I'm pulling his pants off there. All right, so let's get to more weapons. We'll save the big one for last. I forgot to mention, of course, he has a shield, pretty much just your standard GM shield. And this one also has the attachment so that you can plug it on to his arm like so if you want to have that equipped shields always look cool all right for this guy his kind of the main weapon and it's in the title for the box and this is the r4 type beam rifle so this is kind of like his sniper rifle he's got you can see on the top there's a little a little scope going on because of course if you're a sniper you need to have your scope and I guess that's why, if once he gets serious, he's going to uh, put down that little sniper vi visor there, and he'll be able to kind of concentrate on looking through his scope. And with this one, you can pull off, maybe, let's give it a try, shall we? So let's put that trigger finger in there, and we're holding the sniper rifle. So, let's see here. Are you going to pose the legs too? Yeah, let's give it a try. Let's Maybe you should put the weapon in after you... After I get it down. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's probably the best idea. So let me actually take off his shield here so that he can hold it better. There you go. So he'll be able to hold it on the... Posable the fingers sure are nice. I mean, you don't have to change out any hand parts. They are indeed. So. Because he's got that kind of the chawl, so he'd be able to kind of get down, maybe get down on his knee. And there we go, let's see. Let's see here. And let's, oops, his hand popped off. Yeah, when, when you knocked the gun off, you took a little too much that oh. time, too. Oh dear. Let's give this a try here. Yeah, this is his signature weapon, so Bandai kind of weapon. went the extra mile to make sure he could do the proper poses the for proper it, poses too. Proper poses as he could. Because right, when you're looking at it from behind, 
It's a bit more difficult to get the, <laughs> the pose in the correct position here. Let's try. Oh, my goodness. His back might be a little... A little bit. Bent. His back. So he has the ability to kind of bend over as well, a little bit, a little bit of flexibility for the waist. But, uh, let's see there. Okay. There you go. Yeah, that's looking pretty good here. Yeah. Of course, yeah. it's always just a little more, a little more. difficult when you're on camera. <laughs> yeah, that too. So you guys kind of get the idea. Whoops, yep. that is good pose. So basically, uh, you can pose it out. But if you're really into like doing the poses with the sniper, with the the snipers and the weapons, you really are able to do that with with this guy. If you want to play around with it a bit more, and it probably helps to be looking at it straight yeah, instead of trying to pose it from Todd's behind. Todd's doing it from behind. Yeah, that's a bit so more tricky. He can't really see what he's doing so what so much. Not. It's a little bit, a little bit tricky. All right, so there's a few more things that I wanted to show off before we cut this review here. Let's put them off to the side here. All right, so this gun, also you are able to, if you want, you can kind of fold it up a bit. So this, this the, the shoulder rest on the back has the ability to kind of fold up and fold over. And then if you want to make it smaller, you can pull off that front barrel here and you can clip it underneath the gun. So you end up with the sniper rifle in its folded up form, which is a lot smaller. And that looks pretty cool. Alright, and two more things that we need to mention here. This comes with a nice looking sticker sheet, not water slide decals, but stickers. But it has some great options to it. Well, but this has dry decals too, right? That's what I was about to get to next here. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, so we also have a little tiny sheet of some dry decals, dry transfer decals. So we get just some numbers and GM here and the, the ES, uh, e EFSF, ESFSF symbol there on the side. So if you want to do some dry transfer decals, you have that option as well. So lots of stuff packed in with this kit. It is a really fun kit. I, I enjoyed building this kit, 2.0 Gundams. They're just... They're just a joy to build. They're really fun. And they look great when you put it together. Now we had a comment, I believe it was last episode, we had a comment that somebody didn't like the Origin kits because they kind of look a little bit uh, on the busy side. And these, these 2.0 Gundams, they're kind of like the opposite of that. They're really kind of clean lines. Clean, clean straight lines with solid colors. And of course it's a Master Grade, so you can't go wrong. You can never go wrong with Master Grade, unless it's a really old Master Grade, and some of those are just the... But anyway, this kit was fun. Yeah, and it looks really great with those muted colors. Yeah. All right, so this is kind of it for Master Grade releases for this year. So we have the Perfect Grade coming yeah. up soon. Of course, I got the, the real grade that just came in. So this is the last Master Grade release of the year. When's the next one? That's a good question. But actually... <laughs> There's another, the next Master Grade release is going to be another GM. Wait, this is the Command Colony Type, right? That's right, Lindsay. The GM <laughs> Command Colony Type yes. is coming in January, I believe. So we're getting two Master Grade GMs in a row. So that's, if you love your GMs, then hey, this is the year and next year for you. <laughs> Yeah, look forward to that. But yeah, it's a great kit to build, so I, I look forward to building that next one as well. All right, so I think, do we have some comments to read from last week? Maybe, maybe not. I do. All right, our first one comes from Zero Convoy, who Ooh. said, One of the worst things about having a cat is when you're painting and one strand of hair just happens to fall right onto the wet paint. Oh. I know, I know. Like... <laughs> This might not be a Gundam-related story, but I've had it happen as well. Yeah, that cat hair, it's really light, so it just floats up in the air, and it just has a magic ability to kind of get cling everywhere. To, yeah, and just cling to the worst possible things, right, including where, black clothing. Oh, black clothing, <sighs> yeah. And, I mean, my car, I have cat hair in my car, and I haven't had a cat for <laughs> two years, and there's cat wow. hair that just still there. <laughs> But yeah, we just got to stick with it <laughs> for the cats. Right. They're cute. cute it's worth it fluffy, in the end. Fluffy, lovable monsters. <laughs> <laughs> All 
<laughs> hey, at least they're not batting it off, right? Mm -hmm. I'd rather have a hair in the yeah, kit than have the kit in you several pieces. You get something pieces. nicely painted, you put it down to dry, and then the cat comes, hey, what's this, Mac? Yeah. No. Same with stickers, though. Uh -huh. Like, they just get in there. But anyways, the next one comes from Athron 32 a who has a question for us. Hey, okay. Todd and Lindsay, I love the show, and I'm a huge fan of Gumpla TV, and I have a question about diorama. Oh. Will you be doing an episode about dioramas for beginners and up? And please keep this episode, these episodes coming. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for the question. All right. So dioramas, you know, it's something we'd probably really love to do. Yeah. But it's kind of a matter of time. Yeah. And they're completely customized. Like, Usually they're dioramas, original. you've got to have a really um, original idea. I mean, I have tons of original <laughs> ideas. That's so not the problem. But yeah, it's kind of just a matter of time. So I, I kind of really just have to jump from one thing to the next thing yeah so mm. but hey who knows if but you have yeah some you time. never know i mean it would be it would be a great idea and you never know what the future may bring yeah you know bandai should get on that like right? i bet a lot of people would love to have like a diorama even if it's not totally original something uh, that's a little bit customizable you know like there's a lot of gundam battles that aren't just in space but in like forest in settings or in well, cities well, you actually know? now that you mention that they do have some like, although it's kind of meant more for like the Tamashii Nation I, stuff, but you can you use it for the gun yeah. down too, like the special effects. And then they had like some. There's Geo Craper as well. The Geo Craper, yeah, there's that, that too. That series, are, it's like Tokyo specifically, and it's just a bunch of small buildings. Like, yeah, you that could would be cool. I wonder how that up. would scale compared to like yeah, this gun down stuff. I mean, it might though. be about right, I don't know. Mm. But yeah, it might be worth looking at on a there future are episode. Some stuff, so we'll have to see. You never know, it could be. Yeah. It's a good idea, though. Thank you for the question. We love getting questions here. And we love cat comments. <laughs> All right, so we had some stuff to give away from last week, and I do say some stuff. So there was two things that we were giving away to one lucky person, and that was the X Standard, SDX Standard Double O Gundam, and, of course, the mobile, Julieta's Mobile Regan Lays. All right, so... The lucky winner for yeah. Who is that? the Regan Lays is going to comment number 43. So actually when the random number generator gave me this number and then I went to look at the comment for this one, I actually kind of cracked up and started to laugh. And this is from VGM Studios and he says, or she, you never know, gotta get in early. The random number generator always picks a low number. Well, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. Comment number 43. I guess it's not always a low number. Just it's random is random. So congratulations to v VGM Studios. I'll be contacting you eventually on Hobby Link TV about getting your information so that we can ship you your winning prizes. All right, so we do have something else to give away for next week's episode and that is going to be this is kind of exciting oh it's the lupus rex so this barbitos. is like the barbatos this is like the ultimate form for the barbatos this is the last form from the second season from the yeah. second season so in this one he kind of gains like some really big kind of like claws and stuff so he's looking cool boy look at that pole he's kind of <laughs> Maybe he's just like, walk like an Egyptian. <laughs> Jojo references anyone? No? Or the Bengals, if you are a bit older and you like that song. Look at that weapon. This thing is cool. They had some... That is one pretty thing, cool. One thing I do love about Iron-Blooded Orphan is just these gigantic melee weapons <laughs> yeah. that you would get with some of these mobile suits. I love that. All right, so this is cool. The guard, this is the Barbados Lupus. It's kind of with these huge gorilla arms. Isn't he awesome? Yeah, All right. it's pretty cool with He's the claws. pretty cool. So if you guys would like to win the Barbados Lupus. Or Barbados Lupus. Barbados Lupus. <laughs> all you have to do is go to hobbylink.tv and find episode number, was it 250? 253. 253 and post a comment. And that's all you have to do. 
low number or high number, you never know which number the <laughs> random number generator is going to choose. Coincidentally, on the package, it shows him fighting the Reagan Lays. Oh, Reagan Lays. Yeah, <laughs> so the one it's that like we give away. Well, that one is the later version of the Reagan Yeah, Lays. it is the a bit later. The more modified, like, super version. But it's just funny that it happened to be on the package right. the same day these two were on there together. The same day. Okay, so... I yeah. think... That is about it for today's episode. And uh, let's see, where can you guys find us? I can't remember. No, we can't remember. We always can't remember. Oh, All right, so. I think it's Tumblr. Mm, Tumblr and Twitter and, and Facebook, Facebook and, and Instagram. Instagram. And that will just about do it yeah. for us today. Remember, guys, we are brought to you by Hobby Link Japan, hlj.com. So please remember to buy your kits from us to help support us. And thank you guys for watching. We will see you guys again soon with the real Greg. Ooh. All right. All right. See ya.